What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I have another episode of awesome add-ons to share with you. Honestly, this one is awesome enough it's probably going to get its own internal series. I'm of course referring to the immensely powerful and all-encompassing Weak Auras. If you end up liking the video, I have a lot of other WoW-related content on my channel so you might want to check it out. I do a new upload every weekday at 6am pacific time, and often weekend uploads too. Though there might not be one for Sunday this weekend as I'm taking Saturday off for my birthday. There should still be a Saturday video though. Anyways, on to the point of the episode, Weak Auras. For those of you who haven't tried this add-on before, it's basically a framework system that allows creative folks to design visual displays for your user interface that can show you virtually anything you want to know in the game. Buff trackers? Got it. Interrupt tracker for your group? Yup. Dungeon and raid wardings? Oh yeah, easily. There is very little that weak auras can't do, honestly. As at one point, some weak auras were so useful to raid encounters that Blizzard actually had to change some of the capabilities of them and how they interact with other add-ons. If you haven't downloaded it before, you can do so directly from CurseForge or through the Twitch application. Once you have it installed, you'll be able to open the weak auras interface panel in-game by typing slash WA in your chat console. This will bring up the list of all your currently installed weak auras, as well as showing which ones are currently loaded, which ones aren't, and a template system for making your own. If you've never used it before, there should be literally nothing on the left hand side of the interface. Now, let's say you want to create a simple weak aura, like a way to track how long your sprint ability is active. If your screen doesn't look like this on the right hand side, you'll want to click plus new aura in the top left corner. From that, you'll see there is a simple section with the option from template, and an advanced section. For now, we'll stick with the from template system. We'll say, for instance, I wanted to use a visual graphic that will let me know how long my sprint ability is active and how much time I have left of the speed buff that it gives me. To do that is as simple as clicking on the progress texture option and picking what style visual we want. We'll say I want a visual only on the left hand side of my HUD. From here, you'll have quite a few options of things to track, such as buffs, debuffs, abilities, azurite traits, and all sorts of other goodies. Since we're tracking when sprint is active, that is considered a buff. As you can see, by clicking on the buff tab, this brings up all of the commonly seen buffs that an outlaw rogue would have on them, so we'll scroll down a little bit and choose sprint. From here, you can decide when you want the weak ore to be visible. In my case, I only want the visual to show up when the buff is active, as I'm going to be putting it pretty close to the center of my screen and I don't need it in the way all the time. I was messing around with this prior to recording, so you'll see an unusual dual part shape on the side of my HUD right now. This obviously looks a little odd, so I wanted to change this to something that looks a little cooler. To do that, we'll click on the display tab of this weak aura. At the top section, you'll see a foreground texture box with a choose button near it. So naturally, that lets us choose what visual item we want to display with this buff timer. There are a large variety of visuals built into weak auras, so eh, I'm just going to pick this cool looking sword because why not? And, and it's going to be red because, you know, reasons. So now that I've changed a couple little details, we can close the weak aura panel and I'll try using sprint. As soon as I do so, the sword will show up and the red inside of it will gradually deplete. Once the sword disappears completely, the buff has ended. Now, this is a pretty rudimentary example as even the simple bars on my screen you see are just basic template weak ores of the progress bar style, instead of of the progress texture style. While these are convenient and easy, the really impressive stuff takes a lot of time and dedication to make. So for those, uh, yeah I don't know how to make those, but I do know who does, the internet. So we'll take a quick trip to an amazing website, wago.io, which is where I've gotten all of the more impressive weak ores that I use. So now that we're on wago.io, we'll search for some weak ores. So let's just say I'm terrible at remembering my food buff. So let's see if there is a food buff tracker weak aura. As you can see here, there are quite a few different ones. But for the sake of just liking visual displays, I'm going to go for this first one here. Now, you'll notice in the creator's description that this weak aura is preset to work in raids. So we'll have to do some fiddling with it once we import it. Importing something is really simple. like. Super simple. All you have to do is click copy weak aura import string and go back into the game. From here, we'll reopen our weak aura panel and click the import string button at the top of the screen. And we'll just press control V and slap it right in there. It will ask us to import it and to be careful then to make sure it's from a trustworthy source. They mention this because people can share import strings in game. And if someone is decidedly a douchey type person, 
they can alter the strings of a weak or, or add things in that can mess with your UI and other stuff apparently. I've thankfully not had this happen to myself, so I can't say what nasty things people are able to do with these, hence why I'd almost always go through wago.io and make sure it's a weak or with a fair number of views slash people installing it, just in case. Anyways, now that we've imported this food weak aura, we're gonna need to fiddle with it, since the creator mentioned it's preset to only activate in a raid group. So first I'm gonna drag this icon over here where I want it to be on my screen. And then we're gonna go into the load parameters tab. From here, we can see what will cause this weak aura to load. There are dozens of load parameters that you can mess with, but most weak auras will only use a few. So here's what we need to get rid of. I want this to show up anytime, anywhere I'm missing a food buff. So we're gonna remove the in-group parameter. We will then scroll down to instance type and instance difficulty, and turn off both of those as well. So now, the times where this weak aura will activate is because we don't have a food buff on, we aren't in combat, we aren't in an encounter, we aren't in a vehicle, and we're not in something that uses the vehicle UI system. So when we close out of this tab, you'll see this pulsing icon that says, Hey pal, eat your meat. You can't have any pudding if you don't eat your meat. Sorry, got a little carried away there. So now when we decide to sit down and stuff our faces, this weak aura will show a glowing green border and a countdown that lets us know that we've gotten our well-fed buff. This is still a relatively simple weak aura, because you'll see plenty of custom-made UIs entirely made out of weak ores, and all sorts of other stuff on Wago.io. This should give you a good idea of how you can make your own simple weak ores and how to search for more online though. Honestly, weak ores is such a widespread and powerful add-on, it's gonna get its own series on the channel. So if you have any weak ores you want shown to others, feel free to comment below and let me know what you want a video about. I'm thinking of calling it Wicked Weak Auras because it's an equally cheesy title to go with awesome add-ons, so that's, that's probably gonna be it, because alliteration. Anyways, I hope y'all liked the video. If so, I have plenty of other WoW content on my channel and plan on tons more. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.